How's it going, everyone? Shave is over, and I and, and uh, I came back because during the video I didn't get the, the lather that I wanted. Um, and you know what? It's just me. I have a really hard time making the good lather with badgers. That's why I've been sticking to synthetics. I returned again, same amount of soap, synthetic brush, and boom! I got the consistency and the amount of lather that I like. I just I really have a hard time with uh, a badger knot and making making a lather. So, it, I don't know what it is in me and badgers. Badgers, I love face lathering, but for bull lathers, I just can't get the lather I want. Look at this. Look at that, completely different already. Yeah. So, look at that. Completely different. I just can't bull lather with a badger. Synthetics, I can do it. Badgers, I shruggle. Help me out. <laughs> so, returning to it, and yeah, I didn't have a problem whatsoever with the bowl. It's just the brush. It's the brush. It's the brush and it's me. Ah, all right. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I want to thank you guys for joining me on this shave. For this shave, I am using First Line Shave Star Odyssey. And this was inspired by Versace Eros, the cologne. And check out the artwork. I'm a big fan of that artwork. I love space stuff. If, if you can't tell by my tattoos, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So artwork is killer on this. The scent notes. Scent notes are, whoops. I, are you fucking kidding me, bro? How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I wanna thank you guys for joining me on this shave. For this shave, I am using First Line Shave Star Odyssey. Star Odyssey, it's a cologne-inspired scent by Versace Eros. And let's get into the scent notes on this. The scent notes are, top notes are green apple, lemon and mint. The heart notes are ambroxan, geranium, and tonka. Base notes are cedar, oak moss, vetiver, and vanilla. So what I get from this is just a nice cologne scent. I can't really pick off those scent notes individually, and that tends to happen with me with cologne scents a lot of the times. I would say it's a nice scent. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Scent strength on this is, I'd say like a five and a half maybe even five. So if it was just a little couple of notches higher, I really, really enjoy this scent. But it's still, it's still a nice scent, okay? Just wishing it was a little bit stronger. Um, got the matching splash. There we go. Look at that, the mixture. This is my second um, first line shave. And my other one was the Razor Ruby Undead. And I love the two tones in the after splash. The other one was just like that. Artwork, really like the artwork on this one. Look at that, it's all just space inspired and it says, uh, my God, it's full of stars. If you didn't know if I was into space stuff, you know, you might have known just by some of my tattoos. <laughs> and look at wearing a Star Wars inspired shirt right now. <laughs> all right, uh, for the bowl, I'm gonna be using this new porcelain bowl from Acevedo Studios. And um, to be my first time use, I'll talk about it more during the shave. Here is my Smiles for Miles 26 millimeter V69 um, bulb nut. For the razor, I'm gonna be using my Max Brecker. This was my first um, custom razor, which was my Father's Day gift last year to myself. Um, ordered it around Father's Day and uh, received it you know, three, three months later. 
that's usually about max's wait time, I believe. The last time I used it, edge needed to be touched up. I did touch it up on a chrome oxide bar on the Schrock. This is my first time using a chrome oxide, so guys, let me know. Does, is it supposed to look like this? Um, and I went to town trying to make this as even as possible. It does also come off in little flakes. I don't know if it's just the quality of the chrome oxide bar that I used, because it, it was one just off of Amazon. So maybe it's just a lower grade chrome oxide bar. I'm not sure. Guys, let me know. Um, like I said, it's my first time using this. So hopefully it, it, it uh, touched up the edge enough because it, the, the edge didn't need retouching. I tried it against my arm and it cut perfectly fine on my arm, but there's a difference between shaving your arm and your face. Your face is a lot more delicate and sensitive. And if a razor, if an edge is a little bit off, you're gonna feel it like intensified on the face compared to the arm. So we'll find out right now. Let me wet the face. Let's get into the shave. Okay, so Asadito Studios. I found them on um, Etsy and I reached out to them. I was looking for skull inspired. Um, this was even before I got my 3D printed skull ball. So this was a while ago. And um, I, I found them just looking up skull bowls, things like that. And um, they had a lot of pottery from bowls, coffee mugs, things like that. They didn't have any shave stuff yet. So I reached out to them, asked them, you know, do they think they could, they could make a shave bowl? And they said, uh, let, let them research it and they get back to me. Well, I honestly forgot about it. Um, it took them many, many weeks, maybe even months to get back to me. And that's okay, you know, cause I was just, you know, asking a question. And they did, they said they researched, this is what they came up with. And um, to try it out, that they would, they would give it to me at a really low price since it was a prototype and um, I agreed to it. So, you know, I finally got it. It's exactly like their, their normal, normal bowl, except they put swirls in it in the bottom. Um, so it is my first use, my first impression of it. I like the quality of it. I like the skulls of it. You can't really see it right now. Um, the only thing is, is that the mixing area is kind of small. So my only suggestion to them would be to widen out the bottom more because when it's that low like that and that small, um, it's, it becomes more like, a, it's better for loading your brush and actually making a lather. And that's that was kind of what I was encountering using it. So like I said, this is just a prototype, really cool. I'm not the best bowl lather. I still struggle with that sometimes. So um, maybe a more seasoned bowl lather wouldn't have that issue, but for me, when you have a surface area that's that's in small, narrow like that, because it, it's narrow and then widens out, um, as you can see right here, um, it was more in my opinion for um, like loading your brush. So that is just me right now on it, but I do like the skulls. I do like it, the quality of it. Um, that would be my only suggestion. All right, let's get into the shade. Here we go. Let's see how this edges. It's, it's still a little tuggy. It does still need to be touched up. So the chrome oxide bar didn't do the trick. As you can tell, it's still shaved. I can still get the shape done with it, but the edge is just not as sharp as it used to be. And you know, I'm coming up on you know nine months ten months with this so it was just time so definitely i am going to be sending this out to get honed i was trying to just see since i did have a chrome oxide bar never used it wanted to see if i was able to save this edge without having to send it out to get home. 
I will be sending it to Max. Hopefully there's not a long wait list on that. Um, my opinion, as much as a specker costs, I'm just gonna send it to him to fix. Um, his edge is one of my favorite edges. I don't even know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I don't even have hair that grows up there. All right, that high. Um, oh, and under my lip. Forgot. All right, so let's get into the second pass. This is what I'm about to do. I have to squeeze it out of the knot. And paint it on. All right. There we go. Let's that off now. Yeah, so that, back to down to the soap. Love the artwork. Sense a nice set. Soap, it's just, it needs to come up a little bit in, in the soap, in my opinion. Um, oh man. I was hoping to not get lather on the shirt this time. Let me uh, clean the neck real quick. just it's not as smooth cutting as it used to be There we go for the fool's pass now. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck, you don't want to go through. That's what I truly feel. A razor's edge is against the grain. Against the grain, 
and that's when I feel like getting stuck, tuggy, whatnot. All right, that's it for me. I am going to go ahead and rinse off. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just did a little touch up that I always do. Um, coming in with that splash, shaking it up. Look at that, that two-tone splash. That is fucking cool. Super, super cool. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Ooh. Oh, that is good. Ooh. Oh man, the splash is amazing. Get goosebumps, if you can tell. Ah, oh, just that lemon. Believe this is lemon bergamot, something like that. Oh, just a great, great scent. Man. Ooh. Yeah, if the soap was just a little bit stronger. A little bit stronger. But the splash more than makes up for it. Ah, that. Ooh, good. Man. Ooh, I smell a million bucks. All right. That's all I got. The Sprecher needs to go get rehoned. It's time. It is time. All right. And, um, bowl. So let me wipe it off and you guys can kind of, there you go. So you see right there, it's just, it's a small mixing area and, um, just need that to be a little bit bigger. So that's gonna be my suggestion to them is to widen this bowl out, widen this bowl out. Um, All right, that's all I got. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys. You guys take care.